Hey everybody, T1 Glister Elf here. One of my patrons on Patreon asked me a question, and it's a really good one. It may seem like it's a pretty basic one, but this video is as long as it is for a reason. There's a story here. So Rukalin, aka T1 Reese the Redeemed, says, Well, after the Birdie McBirdface vlog, what's your favorite animal? And you can probably already guess because of the Birdie McBirdface vlog. It's a type of bird. It's actually the Carolina Wren. So, a little bit of backstory here. My parents, well, we all live in Georgia, and it is pretty warm here and very humid. Now, we could keep the windows down and run the AC and have a power bill out the roof, but instead, we tend to keep the windows open and just let the breeze come in, and that means that we do occasionally get birds. Now, I've had birds in the house for some time. This video is from 2017. Uh, and so, for years we'd be getting them in, but most commonly it's going to be this one, the Carolina Wren. Now, Evangeline has gotten the chance to see this. I really like this bird. I think it's cute. <laughs> I think it's actually adorable. And it actually made a nest in one of our bathrooms, in one of my parents' bathrooms in one of the light fixtures. Just decided, you know what, it'd make a nest. <laughs> and it was the coolest thing. And I'm pretty sure that we ended up seeing both of the parents because at times you could see two birds, two adult birds in there. So I think that we ended up seeing both the parents <laughs> or a parent and a stranger. I don't know, I don't know, but they were, so I, I got this video up late for a couple reasons. One of the reasons is I was looking for a particular clip, and I couldn't find it, but it turns out it was on one of my external hard drives, and it's it's kind of hard to see, but if you can tell, it's really cute. So you may have to turn the brightness up just a bit to be able to see this, but there you go. Hey there, little ones. It's a little hard for you to see me. Well, certainly hard for me to see you. Oh, there you are. Hey there. You little hungry ones, aren't you? You gotta be hungry. Now, isn't that a adorable! Isn't that just the cutest thing? And we still do leave, well not so much now because it's cold out, but when it was warmer we would leave bird seed on the windowsill so that they could just come by and have something to munch. We probably still should as well. It is a little bit harder for them to find food this time of year. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's the Carolina Wren. And then the second reason is actually related to this. See, I have a children's book. It's already written it's already illustrated. It's in the process of being published. I swear, I promise, this is this is going to be a thing. I, I wouldn't go through illustrating the entire book <laughs> just to leave it hanging. And I also have another book that's uh, that's the whole book is written now. It hasn't been illustrated at all. This one doesn't have any illustrations. I wish I could show you. I can't. I'm sorry. Not yet. I'm sorry about that. We'll, we'll get there, though. You, you guys will be the first to see. Um, but it's called Can We Keep It? And it's about, uh, once again, me and Evangeline going around to a bunch of, seeing a bunch of different animals. There's a puppy, there's a kitty, there's a bird, there's a horse, and can we keep it? And it ends with uh, her saying, like, can I keep you? Or, it, Yes. Okay. So it's it's cute. It's cute. It's cute. I promise. It's so cute. Oh, you can get diabetes for how sweet it is. How you get diabetes for how sweet it is. All right. All right. So um, yeah. That's that's another thing. And the the Carolina Wren is gonna be in that book. So I wanted to add that in too. Just just I, I think that might actually end up being the first illustration that I ask uh, Maria to make again. <sighs> Okay, so that automatically just thinking about right there has gotten me in a much, much better mood. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's it. 
Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. And if you'd like to have any questions from me, uh, then j jump into my Patreon. Uh, once I get enough uh, patrons, I'll start making dedicated AMA videos where a bunch of them can just be answered all at once. But until then, you can just ask a question and I will answer it, either in an individual video like this or as part of another video. So that's it. Take care, Magic Community, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.